Tonight, what we're going to be discussing is strategizing and optimizing your business with extensions. Okay. And uh, me personally, I love uh, Chrome extensions and extensions in general because they, uh, they just help me to do things better, faster, and, uh, and you'll, you'll learn a little bit more about them right now. So when we're discussing extensions, uh, ladies and Dave Gussin, we're not talking about hair extensions. And uh, gentlemen, we're not talking about uh, extension cords. Like I said, we're discussing browser extensions. So let's get started on that. So what are browser extensions? Basically, browser extensions are small pieces of software you can install on your browser that, uh, that help your browser to you know, do things for you and, and help you to operate better. So basically, it's like supercharging your internet experience, okay? So browser extensions can help you to optimize, okay? You can optimize pretty much everything. You can optimize your browsing, optimize working via the internet, optimize everything and anything. Tasks can be optimized as well as your experience in general can be optimized. And then once you get to the point where you start using extensions, you're going to realize that you start using them to actually strategize, okay? So um, several, probably, you know, five or 10 extensions are literally part of my strategy and my content marketing and, and my content development and, and sharing stuff and all that good stuff. So uh, you'll see some more of that in a bit. And then of course, optimize, strategize so that in turn you can capitalize. That's the whole idea. Uh, if we could get things that make your business make you more money, then that's what we want to do, right? So that's why I love extensions. They help me to make money and I'll share with you how I do that. And you can use your uh, internet browser extensions like a boss. So there's two different uh, types of extensions or categories, right? So you have your free uh, extensions, okay? They're literally zero dollars, zero cents. And these extensions are typically um, very, very simple extensions, okay? They, they, they perform quick, easy little tasks. And now I want you to understand that free extensions does not mean they're not good. Some of my favorite extensions are free, but the thing is they don't require a lot of um, back end, so to speak, a lot of um, a ton of functionality. They perform quick, simple tasks for you and that's why they're free. The developer who developed and doesn't have to do anything more, but put them out there and everybody loves it. And every once in a while when he's bored, he'll pop on some upgrades and features, right? Now paid extensions, the reason why they're paid is generally because uh, the extensions have a little bit more functionality, right? You may have a login with a password. So that has to hit a database and you may be storing data or, uh, you know, whether it be text or pictures or, or what have you. So that data has to get stored somewhere, okay? So at that point, that's why uh, the, the paid extensions, you know, basically the developer has costs involved with that extension. So they, of course, then pass some of that cost on to you. And then, hey, maybe at the end of the day, make a buck or two as well, right? So let's discuss my browser of choice. Now, you may recognize this logo, it's the Netscape Navigator logo. That is not my browser of choice. And that is a total nerd joke, okay? So if you're chuckling right now, you're officially a nerd like me. My browser of choice is actually Google Chrome, okay? And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna talk real subtly and smoothly so that I can hypnotize you and make you love Google Chrome as well. And I wanna share with you why I love Google Chrome. First things first is the sync, okay? Google account sync, if you log in to your browser, no matter where you are, okay, your data is all the same. Your browsing experience is the same. Your history is there. Your bookmarks are there. Your extensions are there. All of the things that you do on the browser, no matter where you are, you could log into a computer around the world. If it has Google Chrome and you log in, it's going to be like you're right at home. Uh, fast load times. Obviously, we want web pages to load fast. I found Google Chrome to be a very quick loading browser. It loads web page fast. Organizing. Uh, you can easily organize your browsing experience via tabs, okay? Google Chrome has multiple tabs and you can have 10, 20 different browser windows open at the same time and you can organize them and you can do lots of stuff and also with extensions as well, obviously. So you can organize and optimize your browsing and or what now is working experience. 
easy install. I've had many a clients call me and they're trying to log on with Internet Explorer or, you know, other ones. And, um, and I tell them, listen, I, I, I'm not really tech support, but I can recommend you install this. I'll send them the link. And within a minute, they're off to the races. So they really, really appreciate that. Um, separate CPU processes. This is a little nerdy. Um, basically, each tab is like a separate instance of the browser. So what happens, let's say a website crashes, you could just X out that one uh, website. You don't have to close the whole browser out. And that's the way most, most browsers have moved into this. But Chrome was one of the first to really do it and do it well, uh, in my opinion. So uh, that's really why one another reason why I like it. And I also really love the joy of my data being released relentlessly harvested for Google's benefit. And let's face it, if you're on a smartphone, if you're on social media, uh, you're being tracked no matter where you go or what you do. So just that's the reality of it. The only way you can avoid it is by moving on to a mountain and disconnecting from power and internet altogether. So good luck with that. But otherwise, give Chrome a shot. So now we're going to talk about how you can add extensions to your browser. Okay, now I'm going to obviously go with Chrome, but the process is similar with all browsers pretty much, okay? So you're gonna go to chrome.google.com slash web store. And on the web store, you're gonna be overwhelmed. You're gonna be like, oh my God, it's gonna be like Christmas because you're gonna see so many uh, Chrome extensions that you, ne you never even realize you can utilize, okay? And, and they're really, really super helpful. Some are just for fun, some are for work, some are play, some are, you know, ridiculous, some are terrible, some are spyware, right? I mean, you gotta really understand these things, but um, I think I think when you go with some of the tried and true, the more tested extensions, um, it's somewhat a bit the wild, wild west, but um, it's not too bad. Just stick to what uh, things you've heard or things people recommend like I'm about to do for you right now. But when you go to the web store, you search for a, a browser extension, you'll go to its page. So this here is my social post buddy Chrome extension, okay? It's something I've been working on for probably a year at this point. Um, but anyway, when you land on that page, right, the, the way you install is really not too hard. You just got to hit that big blue add to Chrome button and now the extension will be installed. And you can confirm that it's installed by looking and seeing the little, uh, the little you know, uh, quick launch icon there at the top, okay? And, and once you see that new little icon, on there now you know okay it's installed so uh, here's some extensions I think that you guys should try uh, I'm gonna show you some you know quick ex explanations and then I'd love to time willing I'll show you actually uh, a couple so that's why I'm going a little fast but uh, here's here's one that you may want to try ad block guess what remember when YouTube didn't have ads well you can have those days again my friends um, I tell my kids that I actually knew YouTube didn't have ads before 10 years ago 15 years ago and it, it doesn't feel the same way anymore because of ad block Basically, ad block blocks ads on YouTube, on Facebook, on, on every and any website. It blocks pop-ups. It does all of that stuff. And, um, and it is actually free. And it literally shows you how much blocking it has done for you, which is pretty fantastic. Um, now, me personally, uh, I actually don't use ad block all that often because in my opinion, as a business owner, I like to see ads. And the reason being is I, I can, I'm colorblind to ads, but when ads actually catch my attention, I kind of ask myself, well, why did that just catch my attention and how can I do something similar, right? And that's why you might see some of my ridiculous ads on the web because people did ridiculous things that caught the attention and that's where I get some of my inspiration from. But you're going to love Adblock if you don't want to see ads, but the advertisers are not going to be happy that you're using Adblock because they want you to see their ads. So you might make some people angry, but don't you worry about it. Clockify time tracker, okay? If you work on a computer and you bill hourly, okay, um, or you know, you're going to work on several clients uh, in one day, it's good to track your time. Now, when you're working on a browser, most people used to work in Microsoft Word, this and that. Now, everybody's doing Google Docs. Everybody's working with online, uh, you know, uh, softwares and SaaS softwares to do their writing and stuff. So, um, with Clockify, you could actually time the amount of time you spend on any project. So now you know when you start a project, you work on it, you start the clock and then you stop it. You could say, hey, okay, I just spent two and a half hours on this client and then you start the clock for another client. You go on that and it basically, you know, helps you to get paid for your time because everybody wants to get paid for their time, right? Do you want to work and not get paid for it? 
Ain't nobody got time for that, right? So let's talk about some utilities, some tools, okay? So um, what we have here is some of the pixel trackers. When you start to do Google ads, Facebook ads, Snapchat ads, TikTok ads, Bing ads, um, you need to test out that your pixel is installed properly, which your pixel is what allows you to remarket to these people. They went to your website, you want to show them an ad two minutes later, you need a pixel uh, uh, script installed. So, what we have here, we have the Facebook Pixel Helper, we have the Google Tag Manager, the Bing Tag Manager, the Snapchat Pixel Helper, we have the TikTok Pixel Helper, and we have the Twitter Pixel Helper. And the only helper you're not gonna see on the Chrome Web Store is the Hamburger Helper, but who knows, maybe soon. Um, now this one tab is something I use and I love. I, I, I use it fairly often, okay? So one tab is for people like me who just do too many things at once. I'll have 10, 15, 20 tabs open and I overwhelm myself because I'm bouncing around, I'm multitasking so much. So basically, you know, one tab will take somebody who has, you know, a whole slew of tabs, okay, and open in their browser and guess what? It consolidates it down to one easy to manage tab, okay? Now, I love typing in Microsoft Word. I don't use it anymore like we just discussed. I now basically am always using um, the, you know, typing via Google Docs or via SAS uh, plugins that I use, a SAS uh, software rather. So Grammarly is basically spell check for your browser, okay? No matter what you're doing on the web, Grammarly will help you do it better because me personally, I fat finger, I, I type everything with two fingers and I do it pretty quick, but uh, you know, Grammarly can help to make sure that I don't have typos in my copy. So um, not only that, it also helps you to, uh, you know, set the proper tone. It checks for, um, you know, uh, all sorts of different spelling and grammar mistakes. So it's pretty awesome. And obviously you could see I didn't have it installed and you might not have even noticed that I got that typo right there. You see what I mean? I should have had Grammarly installed. And this one is a little bit different. Um, this is something that, uh, th you know, as a business owner, you probably buy things for your business, okay? So this uh, Chrome extension is uh, called Honey. Um, in fact, I've saved thousands at this point, thousands of dollars using Honey. They just started advertising, so the cat's kind of out of the bag on this one. But basically, with 17 million users, okay, every time someone hears about a coupon code and they have Honey, when they use that coupon code, it goes into Honey's database, okay? And so now you, if you're on that same site five minutes or five days later and you go to check out, Honey will say, hey, wait a second, I got 30 coupon codes for this site. Let me check if I could save you some cash, okay? So now um, when you install that and, and you go to check out, it literally will try 5, 10, 15, 20 different coupons to see how much money you can save. So if you're buying for your business office supplies, if you shop on Amazon, basically any site that has a cart, um, you know, you could save money utilizing this. So I know it's not a optimized and strategized, but it can save you money on anything that you're purchasing for your business. So, uh, you know, if uh, the other way I actually use it is if there's products that I'm like, I am never paying full price for that, right? Like I'll wait for that thing to be 50% off. Then I'll use Honey for that because, you know, once I get an email from Honey or a notification, I know that I can finally, I could finally spend the money that I want to spend on that goldfish walker I saw on uh, Amazon the other day. So, are you now excited to try a web browser extension? I hope so. Um, those were just a few that I use and I did want to show you a couple more. Let me see how I'm doing on time. Ooh, it's getting pretty close. Let me uh, try and make this happen here. But I need some help from you guys uh, watching this presentation. Um, help is wanted. Would you like to be a beta tester for my Chrome extension? Um, if you would, then you can use my paid extension for free. So you just got to go to tryspb.com and join the group of beta testers. Uh, I do have two Chrome extensions right now and, and the one social post buddy is called. I am looking for uh, some, some beta testers to help me out with that. So if I have time, um, I'd like to, uh, let me hop in here and see if I have time to uh, go into uh, showing you guys a couple extensions here. Um, so first things first, uh, let's see here. I want to show you, we'll go into uh, Messenger. Now, if you don't know, if, you're, if you do business via uh, Facebook, 
you may not realize that all of your information, okay, all, all of your, uh, you know, your conversations are available at messenger.com, okay? So what I wanted to show you here very quickly is that this uh, Chrome extension here, okay, can actually, you know, help you to optimize your, uh, your, you know, business via Facebook. It's called Genius Messenger CRM, okay? So while you're used to the regular Facebook Messenger looking like this, and it's just your Messenger inbox, right? You can actually start to utilize uh, a Chrome extension to categorize things. So for example, if I want to put people in different categories, like maybe I have uh, Facebook ad leads, right? Now I have them all right in this Chrome extension. This is, you know, a database of people who I've discussed doing Facebook ads or Google pay-per-click ads for, right? I could message them via this. I can add notes. Um, I can also literally add a notification, right? So um, a notification can pop up. It really, it really takes uh, the sloppiness out of Facebook Messenger and kind of cleans it up for you, right? So um, that's one extension I think is really, really helpful. Um, another one, let's see, if I go to... Um, if I go to, let's say, Wikipedia, okay, and I want to know how big a certain image is, okay, maybe, uh, or, or, you know, maybe I, I, I like this image and I want to know how big it is. This is an extension called Page Ruler. You click on it, it changes to a little, uh, little crosshair there, and then you could measure stuff on the web. So now I just measured this picture and I know it's about 500 by 330 pixels, okay? So, you know, maybe you're doing something on your own website and you're not sure the size. You could just open it up, open up this uh, extension and do a quick measure of the photo and now you know exactly what it is, right? So now uh, let's stay on here. Let's say you want to print this page out, right? When you print web pages, it could be a total nightmare. Um, so what if you have a Chrome extension that does something like this? print friendly PDF. Now it literally makes it a nice clean uh, document ready to print. Okay. Now, obviously this is not a great example, but you can understand how it takes a web page and makes it print friendly, just like the name says, right? Um, let's see what else I got up here. Uh, I have ad block up there and you know what? We're, we're running on in time. So I want to show you one last thing. I'm going to open up Facebook here. So I discussed social post buddy before, and I want to quickly show you guys what it is uh, because I use it for all of my pretty much 90, 95% of my posting. I was having an issue with my social media posts and I kept forgetting things. Oh, I forgot to do the hashtags. I forgot to do the links, right? So what I said is, you know what? I wish there was something that reminded me to do all these things every single time. So if you look, you'll notice my posts all have like a, a headline, a couple emojis. They have bold. Um, you know, if they're long, you'll see they have a link with a call to action. They have all the hashtags. It's not a coincidence that all my posts posts have this, th these, you know, core things, right? The reason being is because I use my Chrome extension that I made for myself, okay, which is called Social Post Buddy. So, I, I log in, okay, and very quickly, you know, let's say, okay, right there, I have, uh, you know, this is a part of one that I was doing, but I choose an emoji, right, for my headline. I could say uh, anything I type, and it also automatically makes a capital for me, um, which, which helps save some time, right? And then I choose another uh, emoji, write some text, uh, thanks for coming, register for our next event. Oh, I wish I had Grab Grabberly on right now at uh, our website. Okay, and then I'll put, I have already there, uh, www.limarketingcares.com. So now I could come over here, right? And I could do, I could bold stuff, do next event, okay? Register at our website, got the URL, right? I can't forget it because it's there. And then I actually have a button that generates hashtags. So thanks, coming, register, website. Obviously, if I typed a bunch more words, they would all be hashtags, okay? And then the great thing is I have, you know, click here to share, right? So now it opens up Facebook for me and it's actually copied that to my clipboard and literally come here and you press control V paste and boom 
now that post is, is already in my, uh, in my, my uh, post here. So now I add a picture and rock and roll, you know. Um, you know, this, this is an example of optimizing, uh, you know, your, your social media marketing, optimizing some of the things you do with Chrome extensions. Um, you can also copy the clipboard and then use it in your Hootsuite or something like that, right? Some people have Hootsuite and this allows you to post to multiple sites, okay? So you log into your Hootsuite, it should be copied to your clipboard board and seems my uh, maybe because of the presentation my connection is slow but you can literally uh, just copy and paste this content right into your Hootsuite and now this content will go out to multiple uh, you know multiple social networks okay so that's basically uh, two two of my Chrome extensions that I really wanted to share with you guys um, I hope that's useful to you and I'm gonna stop sharing now but you can see here it just speeds up the process of uh, sharing stuff um, so hopefully that's useful to you I love my Chrome extensions and uh, that's how I use them and there's a million and I recommend you guys use them as well Can we open it up to any questions? I didn't see any questions in the chat, just lots of positive comments, James. But uh, no anybody questions. have any questions? Roberta? Uh, uh, no questions. Roberta's got a question. Unmute, Roberta. Okay, thank you. So once these extensions are installed, are they, are, are they, do they automatically work? I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, pretty much. So, so they're, they're pretty awesome. Now, now um, you know, what, what I forgot to mention in my presentation is that you have to learn the extension to understand how it works. Now, some extensions, you install them and they, they interact with your website that you're on, your web page. Whatever they do, they're automatically doing stuff. Now, others like mine I just showed you, to do the thing with them, you have to click on that um, quick launch icon. So, my Genius Messenger CRM and my Social Post Buddy, both of those, you click on them and that's how you engage with the extension. Um, and, you know, I, I was going super, super quick there but basically like Genius Messenger CRM, you can, you can uh, communicate via messenger uh, with people. You can have already pre-canned messages such as, uh, you know, maybe my friend Sonia wants to do some marketing on Facebook, right? So she can have 10 different messages that say, you know, um, if she was talking with a big distributor, she can have several pre-canned messages that automatically when she clicks on it, it opens up in her messenger and, and pre-populates instead of her having to type this message out every time, boom, she clicks on the automated uh, canned message and it goes into her messenger and it's happening. So it's basically how the extension works. You got to get used to it, but some of them work on their own on the fly. Like a lot of the SEO extensions automatically work. If you install them, you'll start to see crazy numbers all over your web pages. And that's the extension giving you data about all the information on the page and other ones you install it, but you have to kind of initiate the experience with them. Uh, and, and so it's a matter of learning how the extension works and then, and, uh, optimizing and strategizing with it. Thank you. Anybody else? How, Sue? James, how do you create a Chrome extension? Uh, develop development. A lot of them, a lot of them are, are simple JavaScript little things. Um, yeah. but basically, you know, whether you develop or you have someone else develop, um, long story short is they're, they're actually fairly easy and simple to get going. Now, both of my extensions are very database driven. They're a bit more extensive, but like the little ones, like the page ruler and certain stuff like that. I mean, they're very, very easy. And that's why you'll see those freebies. There'll be a million of them because mm -hmm. people are like, Oh, I just, all right, let me do this, put it up there and then people hope that the the people will click on the link you know to go back to their website or, or upgrade here right my extensions mm -hmm. are seven days for free and then after that you know seven day free trial and then you got to pay for them you know but some of the freebies people just hope to get traffic from it and all that stuff but mm -hmm. um they can be as simple as you want them to or you know with web design it can be as simple as you want it to or as hard as you want it to uh, Sonia had a question also Sonia you want to come off mute and Hi. Hi. Um, what did I say? <laughs> Something about um, hashtags. Yeah, at the hashtag. Can you go over 30 hashtags or no? Um, on my, well, that, that's based on the platform. Um, some platforms don't allow X amount. Um, now, my, my uh, you know, my extension, it'll, it'll make, I don't think I even have a limit. So, it'll put a hundred, you know, if you type 10, 15, 20, 30 paragraphs in there, 
you're going to have a slew of hashtags. Now it's up to the the social media, uh, you know, platform to accept it. Um, Twitter only accepts like 280 characters or something. So um, you have to modify sometimes for each different platform. And I'm going to be adding that functionality into my thing. But for right now, um, there's no limit on the hashtags in my Chrome extension. But when you go to post it on social media, like I think Instagram does only 30 or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. So um, on Instagram, they're just not going to let you post it. So it's, it's not like you're going to slide under the radar with this. I, I, this isn't a black hat thing, <laughs> but it'll, it'll make as many hashtags as you want. And, and when you copy and paste that stuff in, it's not like it's set in stone. You can go ahead and edit, you know, and, and change a couple of hashtags and add hashtags. So you can make it whatever you want to be, you know. Anybody else questions? This was a real learning night. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> great. No, that was really wonderful. Thank you. Uh, yeah, great. 